Today, the sports world learned that yes, you can fracture your throat. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter and this is your number one source for learning about the unique medical side of the world of sports. Today, we're gonna to talk about what in the world is going on here with a fractured throat. As always, if you enjoy learning about this side of sports, please consider subscribing and be sure and follow me over on Twitter for more real-time breakdowns and analysis. And let's dive into this one. A fractured throat is an injury to the cartilage in our voice box or the larynx. It's not like a broken arm or a broken leg. Here we've got our anatomy around the neck and the throat. As you can see, we've got a number of different muscles that are around supporting the throat and supporting the neck. This first muscle here in the front is when we talked about the sternocleidomastoid. That's the one that you can feel here on the outside of your neck. But all of these little tiny muscles that we see deep up inside the neck here, are in part contributing to the function of our voice box or larynx. If we hide all those muscles, we can see the underlying structures that we're talking about here. First in blue here is your thyroid cartilage. This prominent bump we see on the front of the thyroid cartilage is actually your Adam's apple. So when you're pushing on the front of your throat here, more prominent in men, that bump you feel is this bump of your thyroid cartilage. If we look just above that in green here, this is actually the only bone that we have, so to speak, in our throat. It's called the hyoid bone, and to be honest, it's extremely, extremely rare for this bone to fracture, except for in severe, severe, violent type of cases. Below that is then gonna be our cricoid cartilage, and then the airway down below, that's gonna be our trachea that goes down into the lungs. Just to orient you a little bit, the esophagus, or the food pipe, sits behind the trachea and isn't what we're talking about here necessarily with the throat. We're really talking about the larynx, the voice box, all this sitting up here. Now we're looking from the backside of the whole larynx laryngeal system. The anatomy down here is actually pretty darn intricate, but essentially we have our two vocal folds and as air is coming out of our lungs, we have different muscles in our larynx that basically help to control the position of those vocal folds to change the pitch of our voice. But there is all kinds of cartilaginous structures that are down here in the larynx that can become fractured, so to speak, when somebody has a broken throat. Cartilage fractures don't really occur the same way we think of like a long bone fracture, but you can still have trauma or tears, injuries to that cartilage. And we heard that Ragnow has to be basically on voice rest, and that's because, again, when you're talking, all these muscles are moving here in the larynx, and so that can pull on the cartilage and not allow the cartilage to heal. Sometimes there's just some swelling in here, there's some bruising of these structures. It's not like you think of you know, an arm fracture where there's two ends of bone and they're completely separated. Now hockey is a sport where we're gonna see a lot more of these because of of course the pucks, the stick, trauma to the front of the neck. What likely happened was at some time during their game most recently, he caught an arm or something to the front of the throat that caused enough trauma and load to injure these cartilaginous structures within the voice box. These can be serious enough where you need surgery and they can be very life-threatening depending on how much your airway is compromised, but it sounds like for Ragnow that this is not gonna be that big of an issue. He just needs some time to let these structures heal and calm down. So yes, you can fracture your throat, but it's not exactly what it sounds like. There's a bone in there, but that bone is only broken in like violence type situations. And so these throat fractures are actually injuries to the cartilage and the other soft tissues that we see around our voice box in a structure called the larynx. That's it for the video, everybody. Thank you as always for watching. Let me know any questions or comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.